Grand Valley State University, a campus with honest students and faculty. These people, upon finding potentially lost items, return them to the proper authorities. But what happens to these items after they've been put into the system? We're trying to find out how effective the system is and where there's room for improvement. All right, we're here in Kirkhoff, and I've got my wallet with an old driver's license and a few dollars in it. And I'm going to leave it behind down there and see how long it takes for me to get it back or see if I get it back at all. All right, I made the drop. There were people sitting right next to me, so maybe they saw it. I don't know. All right, it looks like someone's going to grab it. Yep, and they've got it. My wallet's out there in the wild, and um, we'll see where it ends up. Hopefully I get it back. We're not sure if it's going to end up at DPS or 2020, and we don't really know where they took it, so we'll see. We are here today at Calder Art Center with, uh, with two of these flash drives. Now both of these flash drives have papers that I've written on them, and this flash drive has contact information about myself with my name, my cell phone number, and my email. So our plan for today is to intentionally leave these flash drives here in a computer lab, and we are going to see how long it takes to hear back from anyone about either of these drives. People will just stick their flash drives into their computers, use them, and then forget to take them with them. I've done that before. Like if it's around exam time or a time when a couple classes have papers due, people will be using their drives a lot more. I think it's a logistically sound system, but it's not well enough advertised sometimes. So people wind up doing more running around maybe than they need to. You just kind of want to backtrack first, you know, check where you left it, um, if you remember where you left it, check the area around where you left it. Then it'd be a good idea to call DPS, um, or you could go to the 2020 desk, because sometimes things wind up there too. With flash drives, we probably have a 90% return on finding the owner's name, simply because it's on a document in the flash drive. However, even after we've emailed all of the owners, we don't a lot of owners never come to retrieve their their items and unless the owner you know ha, you know is proactive themselves and and say oh I think I'm gonna call around and try to find out where that item could be on this campus they'll never get it back and when someone comes in and they say hey by the way do you know where I would yeah that's here you know oh yeah we have your whatever it is I always say to them tell your friends Tell everybody, you know, spread the word because we want the owner to be reunited with, with his or her property. That's the whole goal is, the goal is to have nothing in the bin, but it's an amazing amount of stuff that comes through here. It's mind boggling. We're at my apartment and uh, I got an email last night saying that the Department of Public Safety at Grand Valley State University is in possession of property that we may believe belongs to you. So, it looks like, yep, a black trifold wallet with Michigan driver's license. It took 11 hours, and I got it. All right, so we just went to DPS to look at the flash drives, and what we found was that they had one of the drives and this flash drive that they had was the one that we had put the contact information on. So it had my name, my number, and everything. But when it came here, for some reason, it had been wiped. There was nothing on it. The drive was completely empty. We knew it was ours because of the physical drive, but there was no information on it whatsoever. The other flash drive that we lost is still out there. It was not turned in. So we filed a uh, missing item report, basically. So what will happen is they're still going to be looking out for the other flash drive and if it does show up, I'll get a phone call or an email letting me know that they found the drive and then we can go pick that up. But as of now, it's still out in the wild.